Hey, good morning, Mike Fulton. How are you, sir? I'm doing all right. Hey, Mike, the, the best part about this call is that I, I called you up this morning and I'm like, hey, Mike, let's do a, uh, let's do a Skype call. I'm going to record it. But you, I didn't tell you what it was about, so you have no idea. No, not, I don't have a clue. Like I said, I have a new laptop. I installed Skype in the time you called to now. So I, I have no clue what we're doing. Well, thank you for doing this. Um, I'll cut to the chase. I sent you out um, some of the new Radio Popper Nanos, uh, both mm -hmm. the pre-production units and then the production units right when they right. came out. You've been using them for a while, and I, I wanted to just get your feedback, and I wanted you to let me know what you thought of them. You know, a lot of people that know Mike Fulton or Tricos Photography think that we're just TTL, because that's what we're known for. That's what we teach all over the world. But there's so much more to Tricoast um, in a business sense because, again, we run a business, and, and TTL is such a small part of that business. Um, one of our big parts of our business, especially um, in the fall, is volume. We do a ton of volume photography, and, of course, that is all manual, all studio strobes, um, very, very meticulous, everything light metered, and we have up to six stations, but most of our jobs are four stations or, or four lights each or down. So, you know, we're, we're looking at multiple lights, anywhere between 12, 16 lights, easy, mm -hmm. um, in one little room, and it's usually at the school, it's usually there's so much radio frequency noise from, of course, your classic Wi-Fi that runs through schools to, you know, lots of times when we're on the auditorium stage, you're going to have all the frequency noise from all the stage lights and all the wireless mic systems and, you know, whatever, mm -hmm. and the one thing that I like about the Nanos, and we've been really using them this fall, in our volume, and we're going to continue this whole next month, we have almost like 50,000 kids we'll be photographing. We have literally had zero failures when it comes to triggering. I mean, we plug it in, we know it's going to work. To the point that we don't even have to, it didn't come into the equation of what, if we have a situation where we have to figure out light-wise, setup-wise, the radio triggering device is not even a problem. It's just not a part of the, like I said, the equation. It's just, it happens so flawlessly that the nanos are so great. And then from a user standpoint, I love the small transmitter and the simplicity um, and the rubber antenna of the receiver because I got a lot of kids running around. We got stuff getting hit, and it's just a very simple thing. And then finally, the, the channel, the touch channel um, technology. It's so nice because I literally can look down my line and say, okay, that station's on one, that's on two, that's on three, that's on six, channel four. It's just friendly from a user standpoint. Which is fine, but to me, the more important part is the radio frequency you work off of is so flawless. Um, it just it works because time is money when it comes to volume, and I can't have a failure. And the nanos have been flawless for us, so they help us make more money. That's for sure. Hey, Mike, that, thank you for uh, that feedback. Uh, for those of you who want more information about Mike and Tricoast Photography, you can check out tricoastphoto.com. Hey, Mike, thank you so much for chatting with me for a little bit today. Absolutely, man. Anytime I, I get to chat with you, I'm happy. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. All right.